click make this default CTL gateway profile for this server. Select OK on the warning. Click add users to profile. Select user one, two, and three for this lab and click save. Next, select Presence, Routing, and Settings. Select the Preference Proxy Listener to Cisco SIP Proxy TCP Listener, and click Save. Click OK on the warning. And next, Restart All Proxy Services. Click OK to the warning. Next, we'll be going to Application, Desktop Control, and Settings. Application status should be on. Put in the password for your CTI gateway. Scroll down, and in the CUCM address, enter the IP address of your CUCM publisher. Click Save. Click OK to the warning message. And on the related links, Desk Phone Control User Assignment, click Go. Click the Find button. Select the users that will have desktop control of their phones. And click Assign Selected Users. In the pop-up window, select Enable Desktop Phone Control and click Assign. Notice that all three users have been assigned to desktop phone control. Next, go to Applications, IP Phone Messenger, and Settings. Con confirm that the passwords are correct for the phone messenger as it is assigned on the Communications Manager, and click Save. Click OK on the warning. In the navigation window, select Cisco Unified Serviceability. Click Go. Select Tools from the menu. And Service Activation. Put a check mark in SIP Proxy and Presence Engine and click Save. Now that we've reactivated both services, we are going to use PuTTY to get to the CLI of the Presence server and restart the server. Log in to the present server. Next type utilities system restart. And press enter. Confirm this action by typing the word yes and hitting enter.
This will reboot the server and in turn restarting all the services. In this section, we will look at some of the diagnostics and troubleshooting tools that are available within Cisco Unified Presence Server. Open the Cisco Unified Presence Administrator webpage and enter the username and password and click Login. In this first section, we will be looking at all the services statuses and connections to the Cisco Unified Communications Manager under the System Cluster Topology. Once in the Cluster Topology, hover your mouse over the little server icon below and a pop-up window of services will open. If everything is green, then the server is okay. If any of these have uh, unsatisfactory statuses, then you can find a lot of information in the diagnostics tools that we'll be looking at next. Go to Diagnostics and System Troubleshooter. Once you open the System Troubleshooter, you will notice that the status indicators will be spinning while collecting information. If you scroll down, you will notice that it is still collecting information for various different systems. Once all systems have finished collecting information, look for unsatisfactory statuses in some of the different fields. Once all information has been collected, scroll down and you'll notice that most are configured in green. If you find any in red, there's usually a status indicator that lets you know what a status is and what the solution might be. In this case, we have the IPPM application password mismatch. If I click the Fix button, it'll take me to that section of the administration page, and I can change the password to hopefully match what is on the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Once the issue has been fixed, you can go back to Diagnostics, System Troubleshooter, let the system collect all its information, and scroll down and notice that our issue has been fixed. Further down, you will notice that the desktop phones have a red check mark. This happens because we are using soft phones instead of hard phones in our lab. The next tool that we will look at is the System Dashboard that provides a snapshot of information including number of devices and number of users. Go to Diagnostics, System Dashboard, and wait for the system to collect information. Once all the information has been collected, you can hover over each section and get views of information for each type of information. This information is similar to what we saw in the troubleshooter, but snapshots in time in different categories. The next tool is the Presence Viewer. This allows the administrator to enter one user and compare it to another user as to what status they will see in their presence information. Go to Diagnostics, Presence Viewer. Next, enter a user ID of the first device and enter the user ID of the second device and click Submit. This will show us what user 2 sees as user 1's information.
This concludes video number two. Please continue to part three, installing and using Cisco Unified Personal Communicator.